Some guys bend at the waist, you know, some guys bend over side to side. And I got him walking around, I just got him throwing punches. How we doing? Jason Perillo over here at Ruka headquarters, head coach of uh, Ruka Sport, we'll call it. Um, here with Chio Vera, we're just going over a basic fundamental drill on the hand pads. Um, this is some fundamentals we work on, real basic fundamentals. At the end of the day, if you want to learn how to fight, you got to do what we were just doing a little earlier up there on the ring, punching each other in the head. But here we'll go over a little uh, basic technique here. Everybody's got a different idea of how they slip punches. People like to call it the center line to get off their head out of the, out of the, out of the center line from getting drilled down the middle. Um, people have different ways of doing it. People have different ways of, of they, they, they'll, some guys bend at the waist, you know, some guys bend over side to side, some guys turn the shoulders. I prefer to turn your shoulders. When you turn your shoulders, it's the same motion you're making when you're throwing punches. So at the same time, you would like to blend your punches along with your head movement, and it becomes a little bit of a slicker movement, I guess, at the end of the day. So what I'm going to do here with Cheeto Vera, the mighty Cheeto Vera, he should be ranked number eight in the world right now. He's ranked number 11. Not my choice. It's neither here nor there. But what we're going to do here, so, Je so Cheeto's going to, as he's throwing his jab cross, when I'm on my hand pads, I don't really have a, have a, um, have a uh, basic, we're, 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 there's no choreographic going on. Usually what I do on the hand pads is, 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 is these are originally called the focus pads, by the way. Focus pads means you got to have your eye, you got to be focused on the hand pads. There's another name for it, but focus pads means you got to pick up what uh, the coach is throwing up there. But for right now, we're going to work on turning those shoulders a little bit, getting that head in the line of fire. So let's say, let's say we're working a basic one-two with Cheeto, and I got him walking around, and I just got him throwing punches. Every once in a while, as he, as he throws that one, two, I'll fire back at him. Boom, all right? Now, when I fire back at him, he's going to turn his shoulder in and let that punch just glare right over the top of his shoulder, which is going to put him in a position to land his own right hand as well. So, we'll be working. We got to throw a bunch of jab, cross, hook. One, one, two. And he'll throw off it, all right? At the end of the day, I, I'm, I, I preferably don't like to let him know when the shot's coming. I like him to be already ready to read what's coming at him. All right? We all can make the motion when we know it's coming our way. The trick is to be able to make the motion when we don't know it's coming that way, when we can read it coming that way. So we'll be moving around here. Me and Cheeto, we got our punches going. Double jab. One, two, hook. Three, one, 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 two. You see how he made that motion? He's already waiting for it. Yeah, we might be playing on blending it off the one-two. So he's got an idea it's going to come off the one-two, but a lot of times that's how you're going to set your guy up. You're going to keep throwing that one-two, seeing how he reacts, and seeing how you can time his jab, so, or his right hand. So he's reading as he's throwing. He throws that one-two. He feels a punch coming his way. He makes that slippery motion by turning his shoulder, still staying over his hips, and ripping that right hand. Would you like to see it one more time? Alright, so some maybe maybe you saw the motion in there, but Basically, Cheeto just staying over his hips. He's watching the target. He's waiting for something to come down that center line. He's making a break over the side, ripping back with his own punch.